Have you ever wondered about evil, homosexuality, who made God, abortion, miracles, to smoke a little weed, life after death? My name is Sean McDowell, and I'm a high school teacher, a writer, a speaker, and a college professor. I'm the general editor of the Apologetic Study Bible for Students. Can God make a rock so big that he can't lift it? Or as Bart Simpson would say, can God make a burrito so big that he can't eat it? Now, why does this seem like a significant challenge? Well, if you say, yes, God can do it, then God is limited because he makes a rock so big and now there's something he can't do. If you say, no, God can't do it, then God is also limited. So as the skeptic would say, either way, we find that there's something God cannot do. And at first, Christians often get flustered by this, but I say, let's ask a more basic question. Can God do anything? And usually when I ask audiences, especially young people, can God do anything? Every hand shoots up because we want to say, no, you can't limit God. And then I'll bring a volunteer up and I'll say, all right, I've got a task for you. And I'll take a paper clip. And what I'll do this paper clip is I'll say, all right, can you bend this into a square circle? Now half the time, the student will actually try to do it and then give up pretty quickly. The other half of the time, they won't even take it from me, realizing that such a thing can't be done. I'll say, all right, what if we had Arnold Schwarzenegger or Samson here, one of the strongest people on the planet, could they turn a paperclip into a square circle? And the answer is no, why? Because it doesn't matter how much power you have, a square circle cannot exist. So even God couldn't make a square circle. This is not a limitation upon God. This is a limitation on the nature of a square circle, which in itself cannot exist. So when we say God can do anything, we mean God can do anything that can be done. But then there's another follow-up question. Could God tell a lie? Could God deceive you? Could God cause himself to cease to exist? And the answer is no. In fact, I said to a student one time, I said, you know, God can't tell a lie, but you can. Yes, you can tell a lie. God can't. That's not a strength. That's a weakness. God can't tell a lie because God is perfect. It's like saying, can God need glasses to see? And if you need glasses, that's a recognition of a weakness because God is perfect. He has no weaknesses. So when we say God is all powerful, what we mean is God can do anything that's logically possible that power can do that's consistent with his nature. So can God make a rock so big he can't lift it? The answer is no. That's not a recognition of a weakness in God. That's a recognition that that very idea is absurd within itself. If something can be done and it's morally good, God can do it. This tells us that the Christian God is trustworthy. That means that God will not lie. He will not deceive us. Even though people around us will, and we ourselves at times have done things we know is wrong, God is the only one who is always good and uses his power for that end. That's a God worth trusting. I'm Sean McDowell. Keep asking these tough questions and keep searching for the truth.